Good morning, everybody. Hope you're doing really good today. Welcome back to the channel. I was planning on doing a different video for this, but once I stumbled upon this REIT that I found, I wanted to dig in a little deeper and look at it and go into more detail on it. And this REIT is the best performing REIT in XLRE. And XLRE is the Spider uh, Real Estate Select ETF. Now this REIT is a data center REIT that specializes in um, renting out computer and server space and not actual physical real estate. They have this economy of scale where they, they buy a whole bunch of servers and then they have the professional staff that maintains all this computer and server hardware and equipment and they rent out that server space to companies on the internet. And they have, you know, the professional staff, they have all the infrastructure in place, like the, uh, you know, the staff, uh, they can cool the buildings and control the temperature so things don't overheat and they have backup generators and all this kind of backup stuff so nothing ever goes offline. So companies that do need, you know, some con computer server infrastructure, which is about like all companies anymore, they can just rent out the server space from a data center re instead of hiring all this extra stuff and IT people and having to build up their own little server network thing. And even giant tech companies like Microsoft and Amazon and Google work with these companies too. Uh, this one in particular that I'm talking about. The one I'm talking about today is Equinix, ticker EQIX. And it's the largest data center REIT. It's the leader in data centers. But before getting into the details of Equinix, if you're new to the channel, I'm Justin and I like to talk about dividend investing, income from options and financial independence and document my own journey towards financial independence. So if you're, uh, if you like these kind of videos, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and you could subscribe to the channel if you haven't, but let's start talking about Equinix. Equinix is a REIT and a REIT is a company that specializes in some sort of real estate related, uh, business and Equinix is in the data center, uh, sector or the niche of REITs where they own and operate data centers with a whole bunch of computers and networking equipment and stuff like that. And the benefit of this is so other companies, they don't have to build up their own IT department and they can rent the server space from a company that specializes in this already. And Equinix, like I said, is the largest uh, data center um, REIT with a market cap of $66 billion. Shares are trading at $742 a share. Uh, don't let that throw you off. Just because the n numerical value of a share is high does not necessarily mean the stock is overvalued or undervalued or have any relation to um, the value of the company. Equinix has a pretty low yield of 1.4% right now. And that's really low considering that most people invest in REITs for the higher income. And by law, they need to pay out so much of their income to the shareholders. Equinix has 214 data centers across the world and 56 uh, metropolitan areas on five continents. And they have a 99.9999% uptime, which essentially that means is that they never, very rarely ever, ever go down. They're not ever disconnected from the internet or they ever shut down for anything. And uh, one thing that's cool about them is that they have, they're trying and they're working on becoming a hundred percent, uh, renewable with all uh, renewable energy sources. They have 378,000 total interconnections. And what an internet interconnection is, is um, if two companies 
need to send information back and forth to each other, having their servers close will benefit with faster uh, connect times. And that's one benefit of having these servers all in a, loca a centrally located place like a data center. The world's largest internet exchange footprint and uh, uh, internet exchange is simply another word for data center. 9,500 customers and 50% of them, 50% of the Fortune 500 companies use Equinix, Equinix services. Some of the big names in tech that use their service, Oracle Cloud, Google Cloud, uh, Amazon Web Services, Verizon, Salesforce, M Microsoft Azure, uh, Cisco, Nestle, Zoom. So there's a lot of big names that are customers of Equinix. And over the years, since fiscal year 2015 to fiscal year 2019, they have a compound annual growth rate of revenue of 20%, and their adjusted EBITDA, earnings before income, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, uh, compound annual growth rate of 21%, and it's similar for their adjusted funds from operation. And adjusted funds from operation is, you know, the metric that we use for REITs because they have all these weird uh, accounting things because they're so real estate intensive and they have a different corporate structure. So AFFO would be like free cash flow or cash from operations for another company. And COVID-19 has not hurt their operations or their revenues. Um, year over year, revenues up 6% and quarter over quarter revenues up 2%. And our adjusted EBITDA and AFFO, EBITDA is up 5% quarter over quarter and 6% year over year. And AFFO is up uh, quarter over quarter, 4%, and year over year, 12%. And that's 70 quarters of consecutive revenue growth for this company. That's really impressive. With strong cash flow, they estimate to pay out uh, $935 million in dividends in 2020. And that would be about 44% of a payout ratio. They've been increasing that payout 13% uh, from 2019 to the year 2020. And our dividend per share is up 8%, $9.84 in 2019 and $10.64 in 2020. That's the estimate. And the discrepancy between the 13% in annual cash dividend and annual cash dividend per share is that REITs, one of the downsides of them is that you have to dilute their shares so much to raise capital. They, only, they can only issue new shares or like raise uh, or or issue new debt to raise capital or sell some stuff off. They can't just save all their income like a regular corporation can because they have to pay out all their all their revenue or their, all their income to shareholders to qualify as a REIT. Being the leader in the space does mean that Equinix is going to hold a bit of a premium. When you compare it to the probably the most famous name in the data center uh, space, uh, Digital Realty, ticker DLR, um, Equinix is more expensive on most metrics. Uh, price to funds from operations, Equinix comes in at 48, while Digital Realty Trust comes in at 23, about 50% cheaper on a price to funds Price to funds from operation aspect. Price to sales, Equinix comes in at 11. And Digital Realty comes in at 10. Price to book, 6.3 for Equinix. And Digital Realty is 2.5. Price to cash flow for Equinix, 31. And Digital Realty is 28. 
So digital realty is com is cheaper, um, but it is smaller and it's not the leading name in the space. I think the reason that digital realty is more popular is because the yield. Its yield is 3.2%, which is more than double Equinix's yield of 1.4%. Year to date, Equinix is up 29%. Compare that to one year ago, we're up 41%. And let's look how it does compare to its biggest competitor, Digital Realty. On a one year basis, Equinix 41%, while Digital Realty is up only 14%. Now let's back this up and see how far we can go. Oh, geez, look at that. Looking at uh, September 2011, that's nine years, Digital Realty pays out a little itty-bitty bit of 156% returns, while Equinix is up 680%. Even though, you know, Equinix has a much lower yield, there's no way that that little two extra percent of dividend yield is going to outperform that. And it blows the S&P 500 out of the water too. S&P 500, 176% in the past nine years. Let's take a look at the Q's. That'll be a good one. Let's see how it does compared to the Q's. Ooh, the Qs are only up 382%. So this thing is really a monster. This thing has been on a tear for the past nine years. Equinix has really got some really impressive returns. Looking forward, Equinix does have a lot of room to grow. There's still trends like 5G, Internet of Things, and AI that are going to need space. Um, there's always more and more data that needs to be stored uh, with the direction the world is going. So there's a lot of growth that Equinix can get a hold of and can take advantage of to grow their company, grow their revenue and their dividends. Equinix does work with the big tech companies like Google, Amazon and Microsoft. They do work with them and they do incorporate some of their technologies together to make everything run smoother. Like Equinix does have uh, Amazon Web Service servers, specific, you know, proprietary Amazon servers inside the Equinix warehouses to create a, uh, a physical presence that the companies can access the physical server that's not on location in the business and it's not it's also not on location with Amazon so they can get a lot of benefits from the AWS server while still using um, Equinix's services but if the growth is there there is the threat that Amazon Google and Microsoft can want to take more share and fund their own growth and try to eat some of that pie and then want to buy and own the physical servers and computer hardware and that stuff. They, they could come in and try to eat some of that cake from Equinix and Digital Reality. Now, depending on your goals as an investor, if you want to reach with a high yield, uh, kind of like the, the real estate replacement. You might want to go with something more like digital realty. But if you want a company that's a leader in the space, has consistently growing revenue, growing dividends, then maybe Equinix may be uh, better, may be right for you. It has strong fundamentals, but could face stiff competition in the future if people like the, the big guys, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google, if they want to come into the space and buy up all the, the data centers themselves. Or maybe it could be a buyout target if somebody wants to come in and buy up all the data centers. 
I really like this company. I'm really interested in it. And I think that um, even though it has a lower yield than digital realty, it's the leader in the space. And that's going to hold a lot. That's going to that's gonna really mean something in, you know, 10 years. You see people mention digital realty more than they mention Equ Equinix. But that's because I think that digital realty has a higher yield. So what do you think? Do you want the higher yield of digital realty or do you want the better performance of Equinix? Leave your comments down below. If you watch this video this far, I'd really appreciate it. A like and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel too because I put, a lot, put out a lot of cool videos and I got this new light. Last time it was purple and it changed to green this time because it can change colors and it matches my shirt. So yeah, um, and I'm going to put some other videos over here. Those will be really cool videos, and I will see you in the next video. I'm making new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Saturday. This one will be on a Saturday, and I'll see you in the next video, okay?